Good morning. Here in my backyard with a few of my BMWs. This is my 2000 C 1967. Uh, used to uh, run in South Africa, now in Sweden. Five years in the making. And this is my new toy. It's a 1602, but it has some upgrades, updates, and uh, it's a nice, it's a nice car. It has a fiberglass hood, uh, front bumper delete with a beam. BMW Club Schweden in the front. Uh, hood attachments and the safety locks. Updated inside with bucket seats. Um, I'm too fat for the bucket seat, by the way, so I have to change it. Uh, changed the steering wheel yesterday because it was a wooden steering wheel and I just can't stand them. I hate wooden steering wheels, uh, that's just my preference, nice door shorts, it's uh, quite a nice car, the chrome is excellent, this chrome insert plastic thing, I've ordered new ones from uh, Valotnesch in Germany, you need a special tool to insert them, but uh, they tend to shrink when they get old. And this is the Swedish Deco. BMW is not following the development, it's, it's leading the development. That's what it says. There's a, uh, a ducktail and a plastic bumper, which I don't like. But uh, I'm thinking of painting it or doing something with it. Inside, it has the. Um, it doesn't have the rubber seal. It's here. Don't ask me why. And here you can see some 70s uh, repairs. Not the best repairs, but it's working. Uh, battery, uh, Optima battery in the rear. <coughs> the funny thing with this car is the engine. It has a, a ported and uh, carburetors. see the hood. It's quite flimsy. Twin 45s, new generator. And the head is an E21 2.0. So I guess it's from a, like a 77 320 or something or maybe a 318. At least here in Sweden the 318s had a 2 liter engine. Uh, electric fuel pump. I'm going to put a fuel regulator uh, on it because as far as I know 3 psi is maximum fuel pressure for the DCOEs. It's going to be upgraded a little bit more but for now it's working. Let's start it. This is going to be a cold start. So I need to put the ignition on to activate the electric fuel pump. Give that a few seconds. Prime the Weber's.
quite a revvy little thing. It has some backfiring, especially when cold. So I'm going to uh, take a look at, uh, at the top and uh, the, the valve, valves and uh, do a little a bit of a adjustment on the carburetors. Yeah, it's a fun car. That's all.